What is going on cowboy? In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step beginner friendly guide to using the Solana blockchain for the very first time. I'd like to tell you a story. So basically when I first started crypto, I used an exchange, Binance.com, Crypto.com, um, you know, I'd, I'd Coinbase. I didn't know what I was doing. I was freaking out because I had no concept of buying crypto. I had no concept of even the little icons at the bottom of the screen. I didn't know what I was. I was freaked out by giving in my information. Freaked me the complete out. Now, when I first started into DeFi, I was like, what the heck is a DeFi? And they told me I had to get a wallet. I'm like, I have, I don't use a wallet. I use money clips and I use a credit card. It's <laughs> what is a wallet? And basically you had to get in a Chrome extension and you have to install it. And then half the stuff is in Chinese. And I'm like, what is happening right now? And then they told me to go to pancakeswap.finance. And I said, oh, okay, that sounds legit, right? <laughs> you got Wells Fargo, you got v Vanguard, you got Fidelity and you got pancake swap you know what i'm saying it doesn't make any sense right and so when i started trading on pancake swap i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what a, a swap was exchanging was i didn't know what slippage was i didn't know uh what staking and and f pools and i had syrup pools and pancake pools i had no idea what i was doing i even got into like viking swap and that one f you know freaked out and, and and dropped and i was like what what is entirely happening then i got into you know after i got a little comfortable i got into uniswap a lot of it was similar right a lot of the same stuff this is just my personal journey but i realized those gas prices were high and it's taking a little longer and my transactions were dropping i didn't know what the heck was happening anyway all this to say when i started getting into a new blockchain or DeFi, i frizz freaking out right i didn't know what the heck i was doing my anxiety level was stressing stressing my stress levels was they were all spiking and so in this video all my, my hope is to just calm the anxiety right walk you through step by step the apps that uh, i use where to go what exactly to do kind of orient yourself to to everything on solana it's a little bit different but not too much especially if you have been doing a lot of DeFi. Uh, you should be able to pr figure it out pretty easily but anyone if it's their first time this is really a very beginner friendly guide especially with the apps that I'm, I'm picking out here so if you're new to this channel my name is aaron i'm on a journey to my second bitcoin i got my first one in six months from zero and i'm trying to help as many people to their first one as well if you want to join me and a whole bunch of other wild cowboys exploring cryptocurrency hit the subscribe button down below join the saloon that's the telegram channel and of course this is never financial advice i'm just a cowboy okay i have a little lizard brain gorilla arms and diamond hands and we're just exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency together now let's get right into it i'm going to show you the three applications that i use when starting out on cardano uh the first one is radium the second one is, is Phantom, the crypto, the, the wallet that we're going to be using. And the third one is Solana Beach. Okay, so let's just start with Radium here. Let me go back to the main thing. When you go to Radium, Radium.io, this is basically the pancake swap, Uniswap of the Solana blockchain. Now, if you don't know what blockchains are and all this kind of stuff, this is my uh, lizard brain example, right? Metaphor. I picture a blockchain like a city and in that city there are businesses that like really shine and I call a decentralized exchange kind of like a mall so like in the so in the ethereum blockchain there's uniswap that's like the mall where you're shopping everywhere in the binance smart chain uh, city or you know blockchain there is pancake swap and for solana the shining the De decentralized exchange is radium now there's also serum right that's not exactly a decentralized thing but radium is the number one okay and so we're going to go ahead and hit launch app okay now i already have my wallet connected so let me d disconnect here but for radium um you i'd like to use phantom and I used, like to use SafePal as my two wallets. SoulFlare is actually a good one that from what I hear, so that's a good one too. But for this example, we're gonna be using Phantom. Now you don't have a Phantom wallet yet, so what you're gonna do is gonna to go to phantom.app, and you're gonna go into here. All you have to do is hit to add to Chrome, and uh, this is where you're gonna add, like I, mine's already added here. And once you add it, it's gonna come up into here, and you could just go ahead and this little puzzle thing, if you use Chrome, I'm sure you have something similar if you use uh, Brave or something like that. Hit Phantom, I pinned it, um, and when you do that, you're gonna be taken to a spot where you're gonna create a new wallet, okay? This is my wallet, like I said, I'm never scared on using, or, you know, showing my wallet, it's, it's really nothing to me. I don't have a lot of money, I don't have no money, so it's great. All you're gonna do is hit 
add new wallet and create a new wallet. Once you create a new wallet, you're gonna want to, well, this is my second wallet. You're gonna wanna keep a private key. I need to swap swap wallets. So you're gonna wanna take that private key and, and write it down and store it off of like your web, your, you know, your computer, okay? Make it hard copy, this is the best way to do it. Everyone says it and keep it somewhere. Print out multiple copies and kind of hide it around, you know, make sure it's not being able to find it. And so maybe a quick rundown of the Phantom Wallet. Uh, so this is your basic wallet, right? I have two coins in here, uh, Solana and Radium. And so uh, I sw once you have your wallet, you're gonna have to transfer funds into your wallet. So I have Binance.us and I bought Solana there. And then I transferred my Solana into here, just one Solana into here. Now it's kind of taking a dip, right? Because the markets are bloody today and then a couple days. Um, so I swapped in this, my Solana over here. Uh, this little square button, that's your NFT. So if you have any NFTs or collect collectibles there, it comes with a, a, an exchange right there in your um, in your wallet. And this is good because I think it swaps out for different, it like kind of measures what different exchanges are going for. Like sometimes the prices are very small. So if you're trading in high quantities, it's gonna matter. Um, and then this is just recent activity. And this is, you know, ba your basic information. You could swap out the name and, you know, you, you know, remove wallet, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so be sure to check that kind of stuff out. Be aware of it. Now, we're gonna exit out of here. We're gonna go back into Radium. I'm gonna select Phantom because that's our wallet, right? Now, here's where you could swap. All I, you know, you could swap in for, I had Soul, but so I, I'm gonna swap in like say 0.1 Soul. And uh, I'm gonna pick Ray, right? And so when we swap for Ray, uh, here's the slippage. You could adjust slippage up here with the, and with the little gear here. So I'm gonna put 0.1. And there we go, we're gonna hit swap, um, and then it's gonna approve transaction and you just have to hit approve. Now, uh, LAM ports is a new word for me. I didn't really know what that was. And when I looked it up, it's basically like this technical term for designing like a blockchain's way of creating an electronic signature. So whatever that means, I'm not, I'm not giving you like technical advice. I'm just saying I didn't know what that word meant. And so you're gonna go ahead and hit prove if you wanna hit that. I didn't do that and so it's gonna give me you know, these notifications here. Now, uh, liquidity is where you take uh, one part of one coin, another part of another coin, and you create a pair, and you give that you, you give that to a liquidity pool, and they give you an LP token, what's that, what, what that's called, and so you're just trying to get LP tokens here, and you're gonna bring that LP token into something like this, into these pools right here, um, and so like, uh, you're gonna contribute that, and why would you wanna do that? Well, you make money back, so let's say you take that Ray and Soul token, and you just take in one and you uh, put that token here and you stake it, right? And you make money back. And that's how that's one way of making passive income through crypto, especially right here on Radium on the Solana blockchain. Staking is cool because this is what I like to do. Um, see, I, I staked, uh, let's see, four Ray, and I only staked this like maybe, I don't know, so long ago, not too long ago, let me like 10 minutes ago. And so I'm earning back 28% on that. And so this is my passive income, I'm making 28% off of my four ray and then I could harvest this and collect this whenever so I could collect this now um, but I don't want to do that right now I'm just gonna leave it in there okay so that's a good way two ways of making uh, passive income you could you could give liquidity to the pools or you could stake your your you know your ray here accelerator is their you know their launch pad for new projects you could go in here and then kind of contribute to a new launch pad or a new pro uh, project on solana drop zones like nfts i don't really mess with that and migrate is like where you migrate tokens from different blockchains and stuff like that anyway that's basically what radium is so we've gone over radium which is the decentralized exchange we've gone over phantom which is the uh, solana wallet that of our choice now i want to introduce you to solana beach and solana beach is interesting because it's just like a bsc scan or an ether scan when those if you're not familiar with those those just kind of track all actions that happen on the blockchain so i'll give you an example of what we could do we could take my wallet we could take my wallet um uh, address and just copy and paste it there and we're gonna go in and um, it's gonna show me all the you know the stuff that I did right like I just did this 15 minutes ago I bought some I swapped my Solana for Ray and then I um, I uh, staked my my Ray so I go on here okay and so I'm hitting up like it's going the transaction details and so I created you know my address created this blockchain or this block SPL token program and then I uh, for 
0.31 soul. Okay, so whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what all of this nonsense is. This is some alien language that I am not aware of. If you know what this means, I don't know. Look, look at this. This is some like nerdy stuff that I'm not into. We have got the lizard brain, right? This is just basic stuff here, okay? And so, um, yeah, this is this is what is you see all the validators, uh, people helping move along and run the blockchain right here. And so, there's a lot of interesting um, uh, information here. Uh, but this is just a basic overview of how to get started on the Solana blockchain. Um, like I said, there's really only three apps to know. You need to get your Phantom Wallet. Um, you could use SafePal, I guess, as well. You need to get on Radium. Um, there's also Serum, I think it's worth to mention, but it's just like another Coinbase or whatever. Um, and then there's the Solana Beach uh, you know, online web browser app that you could use to check all these things and more. Anyway, if you made it this far and if you like you know, this, this beginner step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna ask for you for a like button on this video. If you're a generous person, I'd really appreciate that um, if you're feeling generous today. And if you wanna roll with me and a whole bunch of other cowboys, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.